Apple Low Latency HLS allows you to stream live with a sub three second latency. And I'm going to walk you through the process of setting this up using Wowza Streaming Engine. So the first thing you're going to need is to go to wowza.com and make sure you have the most recent version of Wowza Streaming Engine. Using the downloads link at the top, you can basically get the most recent version for Windows, Mac, or Linux. And you're going to want to have version 4.8. 0.5 or above for this to work. Once you have it, and I have a vanilla instance of this running right now on a Windows operating system, you're going to need to reference this documentation here, deliver low latency HLS live streams using Wowza Streaming Engine. One of the first things it suggests you do is get an SSL slash TLS certificate from the Wowza Streaming Engine Streamlock service. And you can open up the link there to walk through the process for this as well. I'm going to show you how to set this up right now. The main part uh, that uh, I need directly from this documentation is the configuration of the host port. And this is the information right here on how to configure it. Uh, I'll need the name being Streamlock, the type streaming, the IP address and asterisk, port 443. I'll need to enable SSL slash Streamlock and I will need this key store path. So I'm just gonna grab it right here, right now. Now to get your Streamlock certificate, you'll wanna go back to wowza.com and as long as you're logged in, from the top you can go straight to my account and under my account go to the Streamlock tab. From the Streamlock tab you can just simply put in your license key for Wowza Streaming Engine as well as enter the IP address you'll be referencing and then apply for the certificate. It does take about an hour or two for it to get set up but you'll have the certificate and it'll appear at the bottom like so. What you'll need to do next once you have the certificate is download the certificate and in the process you'll also need to create a password. And we're going to be referencing this when we create the port. So now I've done that and you can see at the bottom I have the file. I'm going to take the file here and I'm going to move this file into Wowza Media Systems. Under that Wowza Streaming Engine and the version and within that the config directory. So I'm just going to drag this directly to the config directory and as you can see there it is. Okay, the next thing I need to do is go into my Wowza Streaming Engine installation and under server, we're going to go to virtual host setup and we're going to edit the setup to add a host port. So I'm going to name this, as you recall before, Streamlock. Type is streaming. IP address is an asterisk. Port is 443. I'm going to enable SSL slash streamlock and my key store path is that uh, long URL that they gave me. One thing I'm going to need to change however in this URL is where it asks for the SSL certificate domain name. For this I'll go back to my streamlock information and I will grab it right there. The host name is exactly what I need. So I can now go and paste that in and add the password, which was the password I just created when I downloaded the uh, JKS file, and I will add it. Once I've done this, I will need to save and then restart the virtual host. Okay, uh, now that the Streamlock certificate is set up, I can start the next steps. So I'm going to close this for now. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is enable low latency HLS in Wowza Streaming Engine XML. And this means I need to go back to that config directory and within it access the live folder where the application.xml file is. And I'm going to go into the uh, streams tags there and locate live stream packetizers and add that CMAF streaming packetizer. So let me uh, minimize this and here is the uh, config directory and the folder within it where the application.xml file is and I'm going to open this in a text editor 
and uh, right away I can see the streams tags and then there's live stream packetizers and I'm just gonna put this right at the front with the comma after it okay I'll save that change and if we continue to scroll down the next thing I need to do is between uh, the live stream packetizer tags I need to add these uh, properties for CMAF low latency enabled low latency so I'm gonna copy that and let's see if I can find that so it's not the one that I just made changes to uh, I need to find it outside of the streams tags and uh, there it is live stream packetizer so there I'm gonna replace these properties right here so I'm gonna replace that with my new properties and uh, just so I can see where I am okay saving that I also need to make sure that HTTP streamers has Cupertino streaming uh, which by default it should but I can just go in and find that and there it is right there and one other thing I need to do is open up the vhost.xml file and add this between the SSL config so I'm gonna add this allow HTTP 2 so I will go back and locate in the config directory the v host open that up and I'm going to find my SSL config and in there I'm just gonna paste it right in I'll save that change okay so there are a few optional uh, low latency HLS properties that they state can be changed but you're going to actually want to change these specifically the chunk duration target audio and chunk duration target video so we're going to go back to the application.xml file and if you recall uh, under live stream packetizer I added in the uh, CMAF low latency enable low latency uh, property we're going to add these properties in the same location so I'm just going to copy uh, what I have there and just repeat it three times so now I'm going to go in and I am going to add the property names in. And these are going to be integers, as it says. And the values are going to be set to 400. The default is 1,000 but we're going to want to make it a little lower for lower latency. Okay, uh, as you may notice as well, I have one more property I haven't set up, and that is because we also need to change uh, the advanced low latency HLS property reference. So we're going to grab the name there. And as you can see, the type is double. and the value is going to be 0.8 all right and those are the changes I am saving right now now to make sure these changes get applied we are going to go back into Wowza streaming engine and to the live application we'll restart the live application and then under server we'll go to virtual host setup and we'll restart the virtual host. Now we can connect the encoder. I'm going to be using OBS Studio here. Hi. And for some of the settings, the most important thing is that we use an output uh, mode of advanced. The reason I do this is because I want to make sure the keyframe interval is set to either one or two and that we are tuned for low latency. 
Those are the main settings that I care about here. Now I can go up to stream and I can change the service to custom and I am going to stream to uh, rtmp colon slash slash the URL of uh, my Wowza Streaming Engine instance colon the port which is 1935 slash live which is the application instance and now for the stream key I'm going to put in my favorite drink and uh, then for authentication I'm gonna use it but uh, I didn't actually set it up yet which is important to do so I'm gonna go over here open it up go to server and I need to set up my source authentication you may have noticed I named it Denver and that's exactly what I'm going to name it over here. Okay, now I am going to start my stream. We can see here at the bottom uh, the stream is active. If we go back to Wowza Streaming Engine, there is one thing that I realize I've forgotten to do, which I need to go to my live application and I need to change things to be low latency. So I'm gonna make that change right now. Just gonna edit it, check low latency stream, and save that information, which does require me to restart. Because I'm restarting, the OBS connection will probably disconnect and then reconnect. And that does take a few seconds, but once it's worked, I should be able to go under incoming streams and see the incoming stream. So let me refresh, and there it is. Okay. Now that we have everything running with an incoming stream, the next thing I need to do is show the playback using a low latency HLS player. And that would be Theo Player. Uh, Theo Player has this uh, test page, this low latency HLS test page, where you can go in and even test it with uh, Wowzer right here, showing uh, that it's working. But what we're going to do is we're going to instead insert our own right over here and enter that in. So let's just verify what we need to enter in. And I'm going to go back to the documentation for this. And uh, just so you know, uh, there is this part here to tune for latency. Uh, we had just done that because I had forgotten to and uh, we just put that in. And that basically was this setup right here, but we did it through Wowza Streaming Engine Manager as opposed to within the application.xml file. So now we need to test that playback and it's sort of showing the information here. The one thing you should note is when we added that CMAF streaming packetizer, we didn't remove the Cupertino streaming packetizer. So they're both in there, which means that at the end of the, uh, the URL we need to create, we needed to have uh, playlist underscore sfm 4 s dot m3 u8 normally it's just playlist dot m3 u8 but we need that underscore sf m4 s so i'm just going to copy that over but what that's going to convert to is going to be http colon slash slash the streamlock url that we got in the beginning slash live which is the application name slash mountain dew which is the stream name slash playlist underscore sfm4s dot m3u8. So let's see that run. And I'm going to show both me through the encoder, hello, as well as here through the low latency HLS test page. So I'm going to load the stream and play it. Should probably turn the uh, audio down rather put it on mute but uh, there you can see I'm just gonna do a quick freeze frame here so you can see the sub three second latency and uh, that's pretty much it if you have any questions please feel free to contact us at Wowza